Okay, welcome to my podcast. I will make a Warcraft podcast. This is my character. I am a rogue, currently playing combat on the war main server. I am beast mode. Why did we make this podcast? Because I want to. And I think it's going to be a lot more than just a game podcast. So here I am in my favorite city, Ogrimmar. This podcast, we will talk not only about games, but about life. How games affect reality. I am currently a very, very well geared rogue. And I will continue to be so. So, as we were in Ogrimmar, I was about to make some frag bombs, which I need. They're very good, I have very high engineering. Let's check out my engineering skills. So, that's what we got. I have 450. So, this is a Leech King server. I do not like the new Warcraft, it's stupid. If you have a problem with that you can comment I will not censor anyone so I will go to bombs I have been playing Warcraft for many many years been on this server for many many years explosives that's what we need frag bomb so I got the handful of cobalts and I got the volatile blasting trigger from the auction house. Time to make some bombs. And I'm not sure I can sell these bombs. That's a decent amount of bombs for now. If I want more, I can make more later. Now, this is how I'm ordered here. I got a lot of macros. I like to put my fingers as if in a guitar. There's a lot of different ways to play this game. But I have, I am a beast, and I do not say that lightly. If you look at my statistics, I have total kills, 73,000. Total kills that generate experience, I passed the 50,000 kills mark. And I got no special title for that. That's bullshit. I want to get the High Warlord title, and if anybody knows how to get that, let me know. I thought that if I got 50,000 kills, see, 25,000, I already got that. I got nothing. Hmm. Total kills, 73,000. Total kills that grand experience are 51,225. Honorable kills. This is complete bullshit. I fe killed 50,000 people and they got nothing. Oh well. I guess life goes on. I have seen a couple of high warlord people here. And... Uh, if I see one, I will ask them. So what do I do? Usually I go to Stranglethorn Vale, which is my place of hangout. Something's happening here. What is going on? Unit X. This used to be my guild, but they have betrayed me, so I will not be in their guild. Long story short, there was a friend of mine called Garlock. He's still there. We formed a guild together called Unit X a couple of years ago. And then what happened was he started to get sloppy. He started to promote stupid people. And 
I got into some arguments and sooner than you know, I was left behind. He was promoting other people. And one day I wake up and these people want to vote me out. I had promoted people. I didn't even think about this. They wanted to vote me out of my own guild. What a bunch of losers. And this garlic was supposed to be my friend. He's some sort of Swedish guy. He didn't even stand up for me. He's like, oh, well, well, if they uh, think that, uh, you know, uh, well, there's nothing I can do, I'm also a member. I'm like, are you fucking stupid? We made this guild. This is our guild. So I said, fuck off, I'm leaving. Fold me out. And then a couple of times they asked me to join and then like I felt bad. So I joined again. And then this garlic has started to slip big time. He starts to like, I don't know what he does, but he's like high as a fuck right now. So his guild is like, nobody listens to each other, nobody talks. People are high. They do PvE. We formed this guild as a PvP for world, for defending the Horde. I am all about the Horde. I never have allied characters. And I will always be Horde. No matter what. Good, bad, or ugly. This server, as I'm sure all WoW servers are filled with people who switch sides with bitches. That will not happen here. We are true to the Horde. I help Horde as much as I can. Anybody wants to defend themselves against the allies. I do that. Right now I'm trying my combat skills. I have uh, 1,023 resilience with 20, 29,000 lives. And I have my maces. I'm a mace rogue. And I have the Faldush, Defender of Qualthanas. So I'm not joking when I say I'm a beast. One time I killed two allies at the same time. Sometimes I get killed because there is a lot of... There's a lot of nerdy rogues that play this game 24 hours a day. And they only do one thing. They do that very well. The stun lock position. They do that shit all day. I know that it's the good way, good method, and it's probably the best method to fight other rogues. But it's not very applicable in world situations, which is what I like to do. It's more for like duels and uh, arenas and shit like that. I like world. I, I, this is an open world. This is not a fucking tournament game. I like to be, I mean, the ultimate end of this game is to be in the open world, kicking ass and exploring and being free and killing alliance, defending the horde. And that's what this game was supposed to be like. So these people like practice that shit and then they want to duel me. And I killed them a couple of times and then they want to go for 300 duels. And I said, I don't fucking like duels. I'm not here for duels. I'm here for the world, we, world PvP. My style is if I have a sub, since I have a high gear, I will play as a burst rogue because in situations of the world, you sometimes have to fight many enemies. So speed, kill somebody quickly is the most important thing. And survival, survival. The rogue is not a warrior. He's a survivor. We watch from the shadows. We are the most scary character in this game. And this is the reason why I play the rogue. We are not the most powerful character. 1v1, this game is not balanced. So if you get like a healer. Okay, here we go. There's something going on here. There's always an adventure at... Stranglethorn Vale Rebel Camp. This is where we are. And that's where 
I spend most of my time if I'm playing. There seems to be a unit X room here. Let's wave. I don't even know if I know this guy, but... Since I'm doing a blog, let's just have some fun and speak. Looks like he's using... He's using that... Uh, oh, wow. Jesus. The fuck is he wearing? Huh. I ask him a very important question. I always see these high-level rogues using this damn relentless gladiator spike. I have no idea. Oh, shit. So this is what happens here. really good there's a lot a lot of lag today at least we killed him. I don't want to die in my first podcast all right he's asking what is I'm asking about this because I see a lot of people wearing it. Well, anyway, so being uh, as Uh, I'm switching my gear here, people, because I need very high armor penetration for these guys. For warriors, they need very high war armor penetration. And also, if you are a combat rogue, You need to clear the area because you're doing your kill spree and all of a sudden your attack gets diverted to the next available unit. Let's see, I hope this warrior learned his lesson. Allies are typically arrogant. So he saw two rogues, he thought, this is an easy meal, I'm high level. Well, he was wrong. This is not a joke rogue. Uh, this guy here, he's... Uh... Let me ask him. Yeah, I want to know when I get high word luck. I want to know when I get high word luck tighter. He says he knows, but he doesn't say anything. When?
I don't think he speaks English very well. Look at those damage. All right, so I'm also going to use this. Uh, I switched to my bow. Add another. Wait a minute. What? No, I can't use a bow because I lose my hit rating, which I need to have a good hit rating. All right, no problem. Then I need to use my macro and switch this because I'm using a dagger sure some people who do not know what Warcraft is no don't know what the hell I'm talking about people that are on this podcast probably do know what I'm talking about so I'm trying to maximize my armor penetration oh <laughs> that's a good question be the founder And now, they kicked me out. Yep, that's what happened. No lies. That garlic is just always high, so I don't think he even knows what the fuck he's doing most of the time. <laughs> no. That's what the joke is. Obviously, this guy does not speak English very well, so it's all good. Not everybody needs to speak English. So here, usually, there's a lot of uh, what we call noobs, but usually we don't kill them. We're here for the 80s. There is an honor amongst uh, warriors, fighters, that there is just a bad taste killing somebody that is helpless. So I usually follow this unspoken code. And uh, and some people don't, but uh, the game kind of... Uh, Karma usually gets them because there are some powerful people in the server and they will get their main characters and then will make sure that guy never reses, reses again. And here we go. There's other people coming. Nothing good, nothing good. This guy is obviously not a very high level rogue, but you know, journeying towards the gold. So we will talk about a lot of different things in this uh, podcast. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be, but depends, I guess. Like if anything good is going on, I'll keep longer. If something, nothing is happening, I will stop. 
For example, here now, since we have some space, let's do some battlegrounds. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? Oh, this guy is killing all the lobbies. That's interesting. Not very good karma. Well, anyway, there seems like nothing is happening here, so we're going to do some battlegrounds. Walk you through my character. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is the karma right here. Paladin. There's a lag today, so things are not good. Jesus. That was very weak. He was a very low pala. Very, very low. I'm not going to kill him again. Like when you see something like that, where there's somebody that just is completely helpless, then you just do not kill him because you're a warrior, you have honor. You want, you fight just like in real life. Remember, being a soldier, you don't want to kill civilians. It's the most disgusting thing you do. It, it shows a very weak character to do that. Like those Serb army who killed a lot of civilians. I don't know how they live with themselves. They're just human trash. I never liked Serbian army, and let me tell you here, usually I see a lot of Serbians here. I don't really like them. I will try to kill them. If they're an ally, if they're a horde, I usually keep a distance. I've never met, I'm sure there's few smart ones, but I've. they all seem to be like, I don't know, belligerent. So we were going to go on a battleground. And that's where we will go. Oh, shit. And it's the biggest battleground out there. Usually I go here with my sub. But today I'm having a lot of fun with my... I'm going to switch to my high resilience gear and I will use my bow since it's a lot of fun. And let's see what's going on here. My bow will do like 3k to 4k damage. That's how sick this rogue is. Right now I have my gear set. Uh, for hit rating is 4.5. Ah, that's why I didn't use the bow before. Shit. Okay, if I get a little bit more armor penetration, then if I had one other hit gem, perhaps here. Shit, 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 that's why. All right, then I guess I need to switch back to this because of my hit rating. Macro. Not a problem, I can use my daggers. Okay, what are they doing here? They're supposed to go. Something is up here. This is gonna be a long battleground. After this, I will probably end the podcast. I 
I usually try to capture this graveyard. Somebody buffed me pretty well. And defend when possible. Let's see what's going on here. You know, I do have a sunglass, eyeglass somewhere. that I usually use to, oh, this one, goggles. If I wear those, I'll be able to see in the distance. All right, should I do that? Why not? Okay. Give it some time. And then we will gaze into the distance. This is a kind of a rare item, so I'll show you guys. That power. It's Death Blow goggles. I got them long ago and uh, doing a mission somewhere in Hellfire, I think. And now we can see. And I should do this here. Yes. You can see far in the distance. Bastards are coming. Let's see how it is over there. Okay. All right, that's all I needed to see. Good. Oh god, you see that? I'm gonna defend till the end, it doesn't matter. Ha! You like that, you fucking asshole? Oh, well, there's two versus one, there's nothing I can do. There's also a lot of lag. Unfortunately, so we don't know if how this is going to go. Doesn't look good so far. At least I'm getting buffed. I will go and collect that graveyard again. So this is the thing about combat. You have a lot less cooldown availabilities like in sub. The only good thing is you have kill spree, which when properly glyphed, it'll be a 1.2 minutes, which is pretty amazing. So at least you have that, which is great. Much more tools in sub. Jesus, they have two people defending me. It's, they're not being stupid about this. There's nothing I can do. And I can ask my... Two assholes. Oh, wait a minute. Did he go? No, he's, he's a rogue. I should like to stay up here. He's rogue. Well, maybe they're gonna get bored and leave. Uh, it would be very silly for me to attack. Ro 
and Pala at the same time. All right, good, 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 good. Somebody came. Somebody threw them out. Now revenge, bastard. Yes. Nice. It's nice to have some people that listen to you sometimes. And that felt very good. Try get this graveyard back there. That would be a rogue's dream, basically. As a rogue, you're going behind enemy lines. That's why I love rogues. You're always alone. It's a life of solitude. And that's the question is, does the character, do you play the character or does the character play you? That's the question. Obviously, this is a philosophical debate, but games are not as stupid as people think, especially now that we get enter this age of MMOs. These things are just changing people's lives because for the first time you have a world that mimics our world. It's an open world, there's real people inside. And sometimes I talk to people who just don't fucking get it and then they say, eh, traditional games, I cannot, I cannot play that game. Eh. It's because they, those are usually people that do not like to compete with other people. They, why do you play the game? You play the game <clears throat> because you're trying, you just want to use your imagination. But whenever this MMOs came around, it kind of changed everything. And Warcraft was one of the first, if not the first. So I like Warcraft because of its pedigree and I just love the whole game. It's just a well-made game overall. There's a lot of problems with it. But so I'm trying to capture the graveyard here. Very good move. And also, oh, whoa, 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 there's somebody here. Hmm. Anyway, so back to my argument. Yeah, there are some people that complain about MMOs saying, you know, those MMOs, I, 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 I do not want to play that. It's just, there's people in there. I, it's usually because those people play games because they want to be the center of their world. When you play games that were not MMOs, uh, they basically build a character. His character has a destiny. He's special. You know, uh, the, the road is paved for him. All you got to do is follow the rules and, and level up and then you'll save the world. Some people with a gigantic ego, with a huge ego, that play games because of escapism, they find that very, very comforting when they have nothing in the real world. But when MMO comes along and then you see that you're just another player, you don't have a destiny. If you do the hard work, you will gain benefits if you don't. All right, here, I gotta concentrate here. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Fuck. Come on. I killed this bastard. Ha ha. Welcome to my podcast. This is what we do. So here again, it's a game. It's, the MMOs are based on meritocracy. There's a lot of negative shit in here. A lot of bullying. It goes uh, with the uh, people hiding behind their screen bullshit. So it needs a thick skin, you know. 
But if you're good and you have confidence in your skills and you have gear, then uh, this game is something that you look forward to. But there we go. It just there's no shortage of these people. Now I have no CDs and that's a high level paladin. It'll probably be a suicide for me to attack. I'm not going to be arrogant. All right, let him go. And then I'll get it back. Great, is it? Shit, all right, all right, let's try, let's try. Let us try. Okay, let's do it again. I love screwing with allies' heads right now. This is great. They probably hate me. I should get their other graveyard. I should. Well, that's what a good rogue does. And that's what we're supposed to do. I'm sure that they're going to bring an army here now. That's the graveyard we need to get. And then we need to get these towers. Uh, I'm sure that pretty soon they're going to start sending a big crew here to find me. Because uh, losing this shit... So they already got that graveyard. All right, let me try this. Ah, shit. There's too many people here. They already sent the crew. So this is not good. Not possible to capture that. Better for me to go and take the other one. Watch out here. So they have a crew defending that basic graveyard. This is not going to be easy. Where are these idiots going? Oh, this guy's defending. Ah, I see. Oh, he's not defending anymore. Good. See you later. Watch out this direction. Watch. There's the element of suspense in this game. Oh, there's a fucking rogue. God, no. Fuck you, motherfucker. Ha! Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, that was exciting. Gee, this podcast is definitely doing some things. And of course, I did my work, but look at these idiots. They have lost all the graveyards. Fucking hell. The amount of stupidity in this game will never cease to amaze me. Yeah, it's a joke. A complete joke. But doesn't matter, see? As long as you play at the best of your ability, you cannot worry about what other people do because just like in real life, you can only worry about the things you control, people. That's very important. So who says games don't teach you anything? Games, especially MMOs, teach you a lot about life. But this game is pretty much probably lost right now. Nobody knows. 
reinforcements. Hmm. We have more reinforcements. That's interesting. Maybe there is hope. But I got to go to my base. Take care of business right now. So let's go to my base. All right. Here is very tricky uh, territory. It's a choke point. So there's a lot of allies in this area. And there's idiots doing nothing, just standing there. And there's so much things to do. Again, it's uh, points to this battleground being populated by noobs. Just like you would say that uh, certain situations bring out the truth. Alright, let's concentrate. There is a warlock that needs to die. And he's gone. Bye bye. That's the power of the kill spree. They're sitting there doing nothing where they should be capturing graveyards. Now it's a very bad situation. We have two captured graveyards. Nobody. <laughs> That's it, guys. All right, I'll probably conclude this uh, podcast. Hopefully, it was fun for you people. Enjoy and take care. We'll see you next time.